Hi Auric, I'm Chris Trellis, I'm the guy modding your uh, DW8000. As you can see my original DW6000 mod is modified up here but I couldn't have this, that mod in the same position on the 8000 unfortunately there was uh, less room so it's actually down here but actually this is still a very good place to put it and it's actually even better I think and uh, allows it to be uh, accessed much more easily and uh, the changes from the 6000 to the 8000 mod is that although this, this has 32 banks of sounds there, there are 32 banks of 8 waveforms whereas on the DW8000 mod I've done there's 32 banks of 16 waveforms so the 8000 mod I've done actually has twice the waveforms on here so you've got 32 banks of 16 making 512 waveforms in all which is a bit better than the 16 originally the first bank of waveforms here will be exactly the same as the original so any sounds presets that you've previously had in your synth will sound identical so there won't be any changes there I'll now run uh, through some of the sounds this is the, the original bank
too. And you can change the bags anytime. Leave it as an effect. And of course within each bank there's 16 waveforms which again you can access and change at any time. two waves from each bank as per normal This is of course the inside of uh, the DW8000. My mod resides here and that's the display board holding the two seven segment displays. The potentiometer's there for the bank select and there's a PCB in here with a special chip I've programmed that reads the, the pot there and drives the display and then it also produces the bank, inf bank select information down this white wire which goes to the four replaced ROMs under there. Now originally there are four 32k EEPROMs to give you 16 waves but now I've got four 1 megabyte EEPROMs giving you 512 waves so there's four megabytes of wave ROM there. <laughs> 